Hi, this is Edel V. So what I'm going to be talking about with you today is um, about the same, using the same products, um, the acidic acid vinegar and alkaline uh, baking soda. So we're going to be using these two to create um, a natural dye using this cabbage right here. And so if you chop up a few pieces, which I'll show you here in just a second, and then put it in some water, just a cup of water um, and some salt. You can extract the purple color from this red or purple cabbage. Um, and you can do that with literally any vegetable. You'll be able to extract the color by boiling it. Um, but it's really cool using the purple cabbage. So vinegar is actually going to turn this purple cabbage dye into pink and then the baking soda is going to turn our natural dye blue it's going to be really cool and awesome and i will show you how to do that okay so here is, i have the purple cabbage i just cut a piece of it because honestly i want to use this for food um it's still good but if you have a purple cabbage or red cabbage going bad then you can turn it into a dye but i'm only using part of this for the experiment don't want to waste all of it so i just cut literally a fourth of the purple cabbage and about a fourth would probably use one cup of water so if you're doing like the whole cabbage you'll need about four cups of water um and yeah, so here I have my one cup of water. Um, I'm gonna throw this in the pot here. And add my water. Um, yeah. And then you're going to turn this on high so that it can boil. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Okay, now I am going to add our salt. It doesn't really matter what salt. I'm even using Himalayan salt. Um, so it just needs, I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of salt, right? Using all those products. So I let this boil for about 15 minutes and this is what it looks like so far so i'm gonna take this and strain the dye from the hair okay see i've um extracted the purple dye from this red cabbage into this smaller container here and once i've extracted all the dye from there i will put it into two containers and then show you how I get pink and blue from this. Okay, so here I have some vinegar. I have distributed these two um, the liquid into Okay, so now for the best part of this video, we get to make blue and pink. But before we make blue and pink, I'm gonna just spill a lot of chemistry behind this experiment. So the purple color and the red cabbage um, that we extracted here comes from a class of pigment molecules called um, athocinus. Um, I think I'm saying that right. And so the athocinists are found in flower petals and leaves and they make them 
which makes them turn red basically in the fall like that we're in now um as well as like fruits like blueberries so athosinus athosinus <laughs> um uh plant pigments are also known as flavonoids so yeah and they produce like red and pink uh violet magenta magenta is my favorite color um and various uh, other plants parts so basically what happens is uh electron ring structures interact with the incoming light and absorb various frequencies cool um which give us this like purplish red and um how we change this color that i've ex extracted um or how we change athosinus is by playing with the levels of acid or alkali um so because athosinus is affected acylcinin is um affected by the ph of the environment the, therefore like the molecules um you'll be able to tell with like any but ph of any substance um so like this cabbage that red juice cabbage that we've extracted here um it will basically change color when mixed which is really cool um it'll change color when it mix with acid like vinegar uh, like bright or pink or like a green and or blue with alkaline so just a little chemistry before i get into the cool stuff so which i do pink or blue pink or blue okay anyways i'm gonna go with pink so here i have vinegar i transferred it into a smaller bottle because that's what i like to do i'm gonna pour just a little bit in there see what that does play around with it i'm gonna put a little bit more so yeah it's pretty like pinkish magenta you probably could just add a little bit more if you want to make it brighter I think that's as pink as it's gonna get. So that's really cool. Um, and then I'm just gonna add maybe like a fourth of a cup of baking soda. Mix that around. And I have blue, whoa. I'm a true chemist, guys, just playing. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to share this with you. I thought this was really cool. Um, it works really great on fabric, um, cloth fabric specifically. So if you wanted to tie dye a t-shirt or you wanted to create um, some cool yarn colors like you could take white yarn and like dip it in there and make cool colors i am in an art class so maybe i can use this as paint um with these natural dyes but it works really it sticks really well to cloth and fabric and maybe that'll be something i continue in my next video but thank you guys for watching